have you heard the news? It's Gary's Food Reviews. Takes the chops and juice, puts it on YouTube. A certified palate, second to none. Come watch Gary, that's us some fun. An overall win from 10 to 1. It's Gary's Food Reviews. Hello and welcome to another episode in Gary's Food Review. Today I'll be trying this new yogurt, the Tillamook Monk Stumptown Cold Brew Coffee Yogurt. So it's like yogurt coffee flavor. So let's open this up and give it a try. As you can see, looks like regular yogurt. Hmm. Smells like yogurt with a little bit of a coffee smell. Yeah, this looks like regular vanilla yogurt-ish. But let's give this a try. Hmm. Interesting. Definitely tastes like just regular yogurt with a bit of coffee mixed in. Has that coffee ground flavor. Even though you don't see it in it, it you definitely taste it. Hmm. Almost just like a sugar free yogurt with like a bitterness of that coffee taste. Like, I do love coffee ice cream. You know, the coffee ice cream almost tastes like coffee with sugar and cream. But this is just like strong, like straight up regular coffee mixed in with the non-sugary yogurt. And yeah, as you can see, it just looks like regular plain yogurt. You can't even see the coffee bits in it, but they're there. Kind of like odd. Like, it isn't horrible or anything. But I definitely won't recommend it that much. You know, it's just okay. Definitely, definitely way better yogurts out there. Better yogurt flavors than this. I don't think coffee flavor goes well with yogurt. I enjoy it on ice cream. Or just regular coffee, just drinking it as is. Or with sugar and cream. But mixed in with yogurt, uh, it's just okay. But like I said, not the worst thing. Oh... Not the worst thing ever, but it's not that good or great either. Just decent for what it is. So, with that said, overall, on the food taste scale, overall, I have to the, give the Tillamock Stump Town Cold Brew Coffee Yogurt a, da, 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 a 6 out of 10. Just okay. But, like I said, not the worst thing ever. I could finish this easily, but probably won't buy this again. Anyways, before... I leave, I just want to do a quick shout out to this YouTuber that's been doing food reviews for a little bit now called Technically Steve. I have the link to his YouTube channel down below. He's still kind of new and yeah, go check him out and subscribe. He does really good food videos and stuff. So anyways, this is it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'll catch you all later. Bye bye.